Amazing. So we are live. Good morning. Good afternoon. We are here presently. Uh, good evening on also depending on the time zone that you're joining from and watching the replay. Good morning, good afternoon, and watching the video. My name is Alexi the Flip Classroom Expert, and I'm delighted and super excited to welcome you all to the maiden edition of the Learning O'Clock with Abdelati Abedeji. So the Learning O'Clock weekly webinar is aimed at empowering teachers with all it to have a fulfilling and profitable teaching career. And I can't wait to get into this session. And what's the title of the session this night? The title of the session this night is, what's it called? Is the news of teaching amazing? The news of teaching. And if you have seen any of my promotional post where I post about this, one of the things I I mentioned very well is that the game of teaching remains the same, but the rules are changed. And if you want to win as a teacher in this period, then you have to play by the, actually you don't necessarily have to play by the rules, but at least you must understand the rules. Yes, you must under, understand it. There are some people that don't play by the rules. We call them the underdog. I actually advise you to be that. But then, and that's really what I'm going to have to do. Because the reason why I said, we were wondering, what, what is the rule of teaching for? What is the rule? And what's the old rules? So, and what are the news? Because you have new without having an old. You, you know that. So, you cannot have a new without having an old. But then, what I mean by the new rule of teaching is that uh, there are some ways, there are some things that teachers do normally that we just do or we just think intuitively that we should do. To be successful as teacher, you are diligent in your work, you go to school, you do a lesson plan, you teach your materials. So those are the old rules. Those are what we normally But then for those of us who are going, and you see the teachers following this rule, how many of them are successful as they want to be? How many of them are living the that they want to live? How many of them? Okay, and this is what, for those of us want to live the life that we want, we, have to play by the, we don't have to play by the old rule. So we have to be a set of people, we have to join the league of people that are called the underdog. Okay? Okay, I don't know how. So if you can, you are here and you can hear me, can you please be several people here? Amazing. You can hear me, please, can you put it in the uh, chat box for the other, for others that yes join the audio so please join the audio so you will not be able to hear me okay so amazing so i hope you get forget what i'm trying to explain you must play by a new set of rules because most teachers have been playing by the old set of rules and that's why they have not been successful as much as they want to be that's why the teacher has not been has been nothing to write home about Okay, but if we teachers, this new generation of teachers, if we want to win as teachers, we want to be respected, we want to have a fulfilling teaching career, we want to have a profitable teaching career, then we must play by a new set of rules. If you play by the same rule, we're going to get the same result. It's, it's, it's the insanity. It's the highest, insanity of the highest order to keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. If you keep teaching the way you have been teaching for the past five, ten years, or, or you te you're teaching the same way others have been teaching for the, five, for the past five, ten to twenty years, you can expect nothing less or nothing more than the old result that, that those people are getting. But if you want new results as teachers, and this is not only limited to teachers, even school owners, because you need to understand that things have changed. And for you to stay relevant and still be sustainable and still indispensable, then you have to change. You have to what is new or what can work or a better way of doing what I have been doing before. So that you, can stay open. you don't just be a teacher, but you are a successful teacher. So very important. And what am I going to start today? I'm going to start with the identity. So I, so I just the background to me by the news of teaching okay by the news of teaching. so i hope you can hear me are we ready for this if you're ready for this please let me see your chat let me see i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready 
Are you ready? Are you excited to learn about the new rules of teaching? Do you really want to win, succeed, thrive, have a fulfilling and profitable teaching career in 2023 and beyond? Let me know. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is one of the best things when I post my, my webinars, whether free or paid, I always feel like this guy, who are you? Who do you think you are? To just say things confidently. But it's because I know the value of what I'm bringing. I know what I want to share with you all this night. I know that if you listen to this and you watch this, the network is Jackie. Is that for my end? Is that for my end, please? Let me know. Is that for my end? Sorry, I said someone is unmuted here. Let me try and do something about it. Okay, so I'm saying, so if you're ready for this, and so I'm so very confident about what I shared that I can confidently tell you that this is going to be a life-changing and transformational event for you. Okay, it's going, it's going to be, I'm so sure of it. Okay, I'm so, so sure of it. Okay, so let's go. Let's move on. All right, so amazing. So the first thing I'm going to share with you about the new ways of teaching is that you yourself must become a new person. You must become a new person. And who is that new person that you need to become? What I'm going to share, this first thing I'm going to share today really appear like a crazy fact. Like, who is this guy? Who do you think you are to make such a bold statement? But it is what it is. And if you can follow this, you're going to... You're going to change the trajectory of your teaching career for good in a positive manner and what is that thing is that stop to be a successful teacher you must stop being a teacher while i was preparing for my workshop the business of teaching workshop it came to my mind but the reason why i have the methodology is not as uh so let me use that word as i ought to be is not as Doing things as a, as I ought to be doing. I see those that have been started at the same time. They are all this, but they are in other industry. I see what they do. And I feel like why I ought to. Be, I, why not at level? Why do I still feel oh this? Oh, uh, charming person that all these guys are doing easily. And I realize that the major problem I have is because. I'm a teacher. Now, don't get this wrong. The problem is not because I'm teaching. No, teaching is not a problem. Being a teacher is a problem. I'm not just being a teacher alone. Being a teacher in Nigeria is a problem. I'm going to explain. I just hope, don't just assume you know what I want to talk about here too. So you have to like be here and listen attentively to this. So what do I mean by being a teacher in Nigeria? Okay. The fact is that in this country, in Africa generally, the word teacher does not connote some, someone successful. It connotes someone that's hardworking. It connotes someone that's making impact. Or it does not connote someone that is rich. It does not connote someone that is respectful. If you are going outside and you want to sell something to someone, and someone comes to you, and then the first person tells you that, I'm a teacher, I want to buy these things. I don't know even you that you're a teacher yourself, but you're just selling that at the side also, or selling that at, 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 at the side. You are still going to feel somehow, feel like, do you think you can really buy this? This thing is very expensive. Do you think you can buy it? So there's an identity that teachers take on when you see yourself as a teacher. There's an identity that you have automatically that holds you back from doing many things that you ought to be doing, from thinking excuse me, from dreaming big enough, from taking massive action that can change your life forever. But because we see ourselves as a teacher, we automatically put limits on ourselves. See, there's a difference between who you are and what you do. There's a difference between what, who you are and what you do. What you do is teaching. And you don't necessarily have to become a teacher, especially with what we see teachers as. In Nigeria, 
I'm not telling you not to be a teacher again. You have to be a teacher. But before you can call yourself a teacher, you must change the narrative. You must change what being a teacher means for you. At least you, know you can't change what it means to what or to be or to other people. But at least you, know you can change what being a teacher means. So this particular first point is called, I call it the identity of the successful teacher. Again, to be a teach, to be a successful, to be successful as a teacher, you must stop being a teacher. You must stop being that person, stop being that normal teacher that we don't expect to be as successful as other people, that we don't expect to have money, that we don't expect to be financially stable, that we don't expect to be able to afford anything he or she wants at any time without waiting for monthly and salary. Okay? So you have to change the narrative in your own head. What does ask yourself? What does being a teacher mean to you? Does being a teacher only means going to school every day and coming back? You know, I don't know if you if you follow me on Facebook. One one person that I talk about, I talk about most of the time. I still posted about it recently. Is John Obidi, and guess what? John Obidi is a teacher. You will never see him see him call himself a teacher. You never see a profile in his profile call himself a teacher. You will never see coach. Or you see speaker, okay? But guess what? John Obidi is making so much impact. He is teaching every day. If you follow him on Facebook, you will learn from him every day. Following his night school, he, will, he can teach for two, three or four hours straight. What is he doing? He is teaching. But even as he is teaching, he is making, he's not just of money, he's making a lot of impact, and he's very, very successful. Not just successful, he's being recognized. Be respected, be rewarded for what you know, we, we teachers said we are doing. Okay? Yes. He's being rewarded, he's been rewarded for all these things. And you never see him call himself a teacher. But those of us that call ourselves a teacher, we only restrict being a teacher to someone that teach in the classroom. We teach mathematics in the classroom. That means you are now a teacher. Okay, for me now, this year now, for, for la last year, 2022, I only taught in a school for just three months. Okay, does that mean in the remaining nine months, I'm not, I stop being a teacher? No, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Whether I'm in school, whether I'm not, whether I'm teaching a classroom, I'm a teacher. In fact, what am I doing right now? I am teaching. Okay, so one, the first thing you must do as a teacher is to change that narrative in your head. What does it mean to be a teacher? Does being a teacher means just being in the classroom, teaching in the classroom? Or does it just mean being able to empower others with what you know and being able to make profit from it? And being able to profit from it, being able to like be financially stable, financially independent, being a rich teacher. You know, why should teacher be broke? Why should, why should we be broke? Okay? Be, and, and that's why it starts with you changing your identity, knowing that what you do is teaching. Yes. And that does not make you fit into what Nigerians or what Africans have called teachers to be. Okay? So you can be more than that teacher that teach in the classroom. You can be more than what the society perceive you as a teacher to be. You can be more than that. But it starts with your identity. And that's the first rule that you must change. The rule that you are just a teacher. So, and then it's into you feel something. The problem is that this is very, it's very important that you, you know, I mentioned this. It's like when you are in Rome, what do you do? Like, you behave like a Roman. That's it. So, if you see yourself as a teacher, what do you do? You behave like a teacher. And that's why sometimes when I read books, some books, I, I remember when I went out and I, take a, I took one of my books with me. The book is called and then this man, this guy uh, met me and uh, asked to check the book. And he asked me, what do you do? And I told him, I'm a teacher. Guess what? He was surprised. How can a teacher, what, how does being a teacher and selling related? How does that related? Someone mentioned that the, the network was some other time. Is, it, is my voice loud and clear? Can you see me clearly? Okay? So how does that, how, how does that correlate selling and teaching? And that's it, because when you are in Rome, you behave like a Roman. And that is your definition. So the way you're going to behave, it depends on the definition of a man. Okay? 
So if you are a teacher, you will be like a teacher. The question is, who is the teacher for you? Is there someone that is rich or is there someone that is broke for you? Is there someone that only teaches in the classroom or is there a teacher? Is this someone that only teach, that only teach or that can help others with what he or she knows? Okay, so who is the teacher for you? You have to sit down. School is resuming for two days. Before you get back into the classroom, ask yourself this question and change the narrative in your head first. Change the narrative. You are not just, being a teacher does not mean that you are just like uh, fit or restricted or limited or constrained in your classroom. A lot of people go up to 10% of what you know as a teacher. They are making tech what you are making as a teacher. Why? Because they have an expanded mindset. They have an expanded identity. They don't limit themselves by all others called teachers to be. Okay, there was a say, there's this thing I always listened to back then. It's by uh, Les Brown. So he said when he was small, there was a, a, a teacher asked him to go and solve a particular question on the board. And he told the teacher that he cannot do it. And he asked why. He told the teacher, you are not our teacher. The teacher says, it doesn't matter. Go and do what I ask you to do. Then he now said, he said, he cannot do it again. So now ask why not? He now said, because I'm mentally, I'm educable. Educable means, sorry, let me finish. Educable, mentally retarded. There is someone that does not have, uh, someone does not have too much sense. But then the person can still learn. That's what I mean by educable. Someone that can educate, but it is, he or she is still mentally retarded. And guess what this man, Mr. Washington, told him? He told him that, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to be your reality. So this is me here giving you the deliverance you need as a teacher. That people's opinion of you as a teacher does not have to be your reality. Again, people's opinion of you as a teacher does not have to be your identity. So what people perceive teachers to be does not have to be your own identity. You can be more than that. All right, so that's the number one thing. So that's the first thing you must change. And when I say the new teaching, is that I'm going to tell you, and uh, this is what you're going to do now. Yes, it's still part of it. Because now you have to stop seeing yourself as what society call or divine teachers to be. Go and check the dictionary. Go and check, go and check what the teaching means. Okay, there's no restrict you to, to classroom. There's nothing in the dictionary about, there's nothing in the meaning of teacher that, 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 that that say you must be broke, that you should be broke. Okay, so let's move on now. So what's the second thing? The second thing I want to talk about, I was going to talk about in the news of teaching is that you must document your journey. Document in your, since you begin your teaching, some of you have been teaching for the past five, ten years, three or even three years. How has been your teaching career? What has been the trajectory of the teaching career have been? Document your journey, document it. Document your journey. You're going to have some or some opportunity in 2023 and beyond. Opportunities are going to come your way that will require you to show what you've done so far. It's not just your CV alone. It's not just your CV. It's going to show you what you have done, what you have achieved, okay, what you have engaged in as the teacher beyond your classroom. Document it. Document it. Not just opportunities, I'm not only for the opportunity, but also for the fact that you are also great. And guess what? As you are saying, you're going to have people that don't come to you. What do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them? So you have to document your journey. You have to be intentional about it. When you achieve a particular mindset, don't it. The, is that a, a particular time when you have a student that just like the man was elementary retarded who does not know how to read or write? But guess what? You are able to help these students, this or this pupil, to start learning how to read and write. And this particular child now is not a fantastic guy. Document it. So write it down. Document your process. 
Don't just teach the person. You have to teach the person. You have to the person. Take them paper. I'll tell you what you did. Everything you did to help that child. Document it. You know, you don't know where you're going to need that thing. You don't know where you're going to need it. Okay, so document it. Document your experience in the teaching. If you go and learn something, document that you learn it, that you have a certificate, document it. Up. And your CV also you're documenting. Object your CV. Make sure that your CV contains all the relevant skills and certification that you have. Okay. See, so in terms of the theory, there will be more competition as you have ever seen in the teaching industry. And those that will win are those that have edge, those that have things that others do not have. So I ask you, what do you have? And it's not just about saying it's mouth. People want to see it. They want to see it. So document your journey. Document is so very important. The thing that you, I, I was just, and I'm going to talk about here under this news of teaching for you to be successful as a teacher in, in this year and beyond. Don't be the best kept secret. Don't be, this is also part of documenting your journey, but don't be the best kept secret. I have some teachers I follow on, on, on Facebook. There was a time I post about, I, I mentioned like three to four names here. Like four names. Facebook, I, I remember. I mentioned this blessing. I mentioned over oh, Brown. I don't know if she's here right now. I mentioned two sisters, Taiwo Abi and Mercy Kinde. Yeah, two sisters. They're two sisters, but they are doing amazingly well. But how do you know that it's Busayo? How do you know that they're amazing? It's because they post things that they do in the classroom. They post all the amazing, great initiative that they are bringing to their school. They post it on their Facebook profile. So you see what they are doing. Some of you, also, you are doing an amazing job. You are using amazing technique with your students. Okay, you have this routine that you follow. But guess what? You don't, don't want, no one else know about it except you, except your students. Post it out. It's not to show off, but it's also to inspire others. It's also to show others what is possible. It's also to show others what you are doing. Okay? So just show that don't be the word best, best sorry, the word kept secret. Okay? Don't, don't be the word kept secret. Let others see what you're doing. Okay, let others see what you're doing. Shine your light so bright that the world see it. And they, 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 they reward you for the amazing thing, for the amazing experience that you have as a teacher. Okay? So it's so important. Don't be the word care secret. Social media is for you. It's free. Sure what you do. Most of us, we are not doing... What you're doing is not special. The only thing that is special about us, and I'm saying we talk about that, is that we have the audacity to put out what we do. We have, I always say this, that you see me come and say flip classroom expert. No, that me I'm the best person to teach you flip classroom in the world. No. But I'm the only one you see. Yes, I'm the only one. There can be someone that know more about flip classroom. But who knows the person? I, I, I posted a, something on Facebook. It was the first day. And the, the post I got from Coach. I don't follow him on Facebook. Okay, and he says something. He says, I'm selling foolishness. We saw, so a person that is selling foolishness consistently, we saw more than that selling wisdom consistently. So a person that is making noise on social media, that doesn't have any tangible result, we not respected, recognized, and rewarded than you. But you will not be recognized, you will not be respected, you will not be rewarded for all those things that you're doing. Why? Because you are the world kept secrets. People don't know you. They don't know you. They don't know what you do. They don't know anything. So share this. Don't be afraid. Okay? Don't be, you have to develop You have to do audacity. See? 
I was at the training in August. In August. It's a public speaking training by Coach uh, Asewaji Dokas. Okay, and then during the training, the MC, the anchor of the training, before we get the, started with the training, said, come up with a word that starts with the first letter of our name. And that word is going to be, is going to be like, just describe what we are as a person or what we believe in as a person. And so I think, I think, I think, and that came to my mind is, or just or that's just up the let's see what this means for me is that most of the thing i do i do it by taking risk by just you know okay by just saying yes i can do this by just like taking a chance by just being courageous i know so this you want to make impact as a teacher you want to be respected you want to do more than just being a classroom a, a classroom teacher you have to have the audacity to show up strong, to show the world who you are, to show the world what you're capable of doing. Okay? So you have to be audacious. It's really in terms of the thing we, you must be willing to do things that you have never th thought possible for your life. You must be willing to do things and things, and that's it. If you're if you are doing anything, anything you're doing that does not scare you, that thing is not something you ought to be doing. Anything that's going to change your life for good must scare you must make you feel shaky, must make you feel fear, must make you afraid. Because anything that's going to change your life, that's going to make you achieve what you have never achieved before, is going to stretch you. It's going to require you to do things that you have never done before. It's going to require you to acquire skills that you, you have never acquired before. So you have to be audacious. You have to set big goals. Dream big and be audacious with what you, what you want to do. Set goals for your class and not dashes about it. There are some things that you want to do in your classroom before, but you are afraid of what people are going to say, what your fellow teachers are going to talk about, what they are going to think. Are they going to say you are, you are too much? Is it only you? Now only you are can come. Leave them. That's their business, not yours. You have to do it courageously. And this is courage is not actually the absence of fear. Being courageous does not mean that you don't feel the fear. Every person that you see out there feel the fear. They feel the doubt that you feel. The only difference is that they do it in spite of it. They do it in spite of the doubt. You too must do it in spite of the fear. You must do it in spite of the doubt. Some of you have some decisions, some life-changing decisions that you ought to make right now. But because you are fearing of what the outcome is being, going to be. See, most of us that you see doing it, or most of you that you see doing it, they don't really, it's not as if they know what's going to happen at the end of the, of the decision they are making. Okay? They said, some people don't make right decision every time, but there are those that make decision very quick and make it right. They make that decision right. It's not necessarily that they, they, they make the right decision. Okay, so you have to be audacious. This is not just something I I to you, something that you, that's in my book, audacity. You have to be what? Audacious. Now let me talk about this too. And this is like this is so very important because as a teacher. You are in the business of people. You deal with people every day. You deal with your school owner. You deal with fellow teachers. You deal with your students. And you deal with parents too. And guess what? These are hard times. This is a hard period for almost everybody. Okay, we have to be realistic and be true to what I said right now. So everybody, the way you are going through your own challenges, everyone is also going through their own challenges. And one tool that you must have in your arsenal is empathy. And empathy is the ability to be put yourself okay. Because guess what? If you are going to go far in life, you need people. You need people. And there's a saying that says, people don't care how much you know until, until they know how much you care. Even in your class, if your students know that you care for them, they'll be more responsive to you. If your parents, if your, if your school owners, you care, for their school, that you can, you they, they, they see that you feel their pain, you feel their struggle. They will, they will treat you well more than they treat other persons. Okay. It's the sign of maturity. So it's not the we treat other people very well. Be empathetic, okay. Try to be understanding at all time. Don't just jump into conclusion. Don't just judge others. Excuse me. So don't just what 
judge others. Don't just cheat others and out. So you have to be empathetic because you need people. There's some things, there's some opportunity that you yourself will never know. But maybe someone that you have done something good to before. Just say, okay, ah, this person that's been showing up, that's been doing this, I think this opportunity might be for you. Go and meet this person. This person will be able to help you. This person will be able to do this for you. You can see an opening in a big school that you have been praying for. And just a person that you don't even count to have anything can be the one that will see that that power or that ability to actually get you into the room. Okay? In everywhere, there's their gatekeeper. And most of the time, this gatekeeper, they, 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 most of the time, king makers don't look like kings. King makers, they themselves don't look like They have the power to put a king on the throne, to crown the, the king. But they themselves, they don't look like the king. So you have to be empathetic. Treat everybody well. This is so very, very important. Okay? Now, this is not even part of what I want to talk about, but I must mention it. Build relationship. Build relationship. And don't just build relationship with those in your school. Build relationship with those outside your environment. And that's why social media is there. Many people that we do this together now, that we see ourselves as brothers and sisters, that we share this together, that we do amazing things together, that in fact, we have not seen each other before. That we met on social media, we met some of us. Yes. Build relationship with people. You never know the, that person that has the key to your information, that has the key to your success. So build relationship. Don't just be me and me, and me alone. Connect with people. Attend when you attend event like this, or you are in a group. Just connect with people, and I'm not telling you to go and sm spam people and go and be sending messages to people on WhatsApp. No, but build relationship, meaningful relationship. Not just that. Attend physical trainings. Attend physical events. Some of these events are free. Especially if you are in Lagos, I know some other states too uh, 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 organized. But the one I know very well is Lagos. They uh, they organize events so well. Even for teachers, for educators, for other things, generally on success. Attend this event and connect with people. Connect with people, okay? So, twenty twenty three, we build relationship, all right? So, I've talked about the new or the identity of a successful teacher, uh, document your journey. Don't be the world, the best, the world uh, kept secret. Then, I've talked about I've been audacious, been empathetic, building. Next one I, I want to talk about now is identify your uniqueness, develop it, and market it. Identify the history about you as a teacher. It can be your experience. It can be your story. Okay? It can be your skills. It can be your knowledge. Identify those weaknesses in you. It can be the way you can be that you just know how to teach math. Even if you teach a dummy mathematics, the, the person will understand. Identify this uniqueness. Develop it. Okay. Work on it. Refine it. Okay. And market it. Market it. Okay. That's your own edge. That's your own edge. It's just like when they ask, when God asks uh, Moses, what's in your hand? But Moses, what's in your hand? That's what's in your own. That's your own edge. That's what makes you different from every other person so develop it go find it one of my own as a teacher is that because as someone i was very i i was so loved so I, so i can be able to manipulate all these new technologies and that's one of the edge i have okay so things that you need someone to teach you how to use i can come across it one time and master it immediately. That's my own edge. It's my own edge. Also, teaching is my first. I know how to study. I can teach for money tonight. Okay. I can teach this. I know how to break things down people. It's my own edge. The same, you also have a, your own edge. Identify that uniqueness. Identify that your edge. Develop it. Refine it. And market. And when I say market, no, you don't just market the your edge, your uniqueness. You have to make sure that it is solving a particular problem. Tie it to a problem. Tie down your uniqueness. Tie down your edge to a problem. And then market your edge as a solution to that problem. 
and people will be willing to part with their money. People will be willing to exchange their money for your solution. Okay, so I hope you are learning. I hope this has been amazing so far. Let me know. Are you getting value from this? Are you getting value? Let me let me see. I want to see your comment in the chat box. Let me see your comment. Are you getting value? We are seven here. I can see Mr. Isa. Thank you for joining us. And a shout out to Mr. Isa. He was Mr. Abdulaziz. So he was actually the one that designed the flyer that we use for this particular training. So please, if you are here and you have been getting value so far. I know one of the reasons why you joined this is because you saw the flyer or you saw me post it. I want you to please help me to thank Mr. Isa. Please just say thank you, Mr. Abdulaziz. Yes, thank you, Mr. Abdulaziz. Please let's do that now. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdulaziz. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you're getting value so far, let me see. I got I'm getting value. We don't say it, we're going to close here, and that's where we're going to stop. Thank you. Oh, this is great. I I I know I know this name. Okay, please, can you comment your name? Your name. I mean, the person with the name, Lydon, can you comment your name? I know I know this person so well, but I can't remember. I can't really recall the exact name. While well, you're getting value, please help me to appreciate Mr. Ablazes. I want to say that, please. Just say thank you, Mr. Ablazes. He's the one that commented now that we're getting expensive value. The man is an amazing man. He has been a great support. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. All right, so let me go on. Okay, thank you, Miss uh, Mrs. Lagbala. So the next one, I, so I've talked about identify your uniqueness, uh, develop it, and market it. Now the next thing I want to talk about is improve your tech skills. Improve your tech skills. It's so so very important. We're in the twenty first century. You can't afford to to say I'm not a techy person. You know how teachers will come or how people naturally will just come and tell you, I'm not a techy person, I'm not a tech person. I don't just know how to use tech. I don't just know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. No. You have graduated from that. That's not, if that is in 2022 or 1999, and that is advisable, that is understandable. See this period that we are? It is not understandable at all. It is not understandable at all. So you have to know how to use tech. You have to know how to use how to manipulate all these tech too to improve your teaching and learning in the classroom, even outside the classroom. You have to know how to use all these tech tools. Improve your tech skills. So, so important. Again, this is also part of your edge. You see, I've been seeing this fly, I've been seeing this information flying around. Uh, that oh, UK is now open for teachers from Nigeria to apply to the QTS. Okay, but guess what? Do you know how many options are going to apply? And how many um, are they going to take? How many are they going to take in? You agree with me that the number of people that will apply with more than times, say, even no times 100, the number of people they, they need actually. So it now comes down to what is special about you? What do you have that all that teachers don't know? About? Okay, what's your own age? So that is what is going to differentiate you from others. Okay. For example, now if we are applying for the same job in a less and I, I just I saw someone, okay, it is Mrs. Zainab Mabini at this so yeah, you can check her out on Facebook. Mrs. Zainab, we we are, I remember we had a program in a uh, uh teach with her in, in uh, September. I I was one of the speakers at a lot. Okay, Mrs. Atemire. Yes, I know, I, I remember okay, yeah, Mrs. Is that Joans? Yes, eh, eh Mrs. Joans Atemire. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have seen the name of the school. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad you are here. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, and when the when this was first announced, I mean the UK teacher or uh, the opportunity to travel to UK, okay, was first announced. She posted something that there's a brain drain in the education industry. That most teachers now are going to be are going to apply for this and they are going to and guess what it is the most qualified teacher in Nigeria are going to be accepted and most of the teachers are, going to be are teachers teaching in international schools because being a teacher in international, international schools you have you meet the international standards already you have all uh, develop personal development trainings regularly you have all these things that you do already that you have familiar with this you have over there already so these are the teachers that stand the highest chance of getting over them. But guess what? If international teachers, teachers teaching international schools leave those schools, 
International schools will need replacement. That means all the other attention is not non international schools will be the one that will need to fill those gaps. And guess what? It will also be competition. It now comes down to what is special about you. What do you have that other teachers do not have? And one of the things um, to stand out is to be very good in tech, to be very good in how to use technology, okay, to teach, okay, and that's one of the things I do. I train teachers on how to implement flip classroom. Okay, so if you want to learn that, you can send a message to me. Even, in fact, uh, I'm, I'm just relaunching my flip classroom course this Monday, 19th. 19th. Yes, the cost is going to go for 4,000 Naira per participant. Yes, it's so valuable that I can put 10,000 Naira on this and I'll be very comfortable with it. I'll be so sure of the value I'm giving to you, okay, for that 10,000 Naira. But with that, it's still not 4,000. But guess what? I made a post what, was it two days ago that anyone can get access to the course, can get access to just 2,500. That is before money, okay? So that's if. If you want that, that's an opportunity you can actually take. But that's not the main thing because flip classroom is just a way that you can make use of tech. Okay, so it's not really, uh, is that's not the only way to use tech. So even if you know how to use tech already, improve it, improve your tech skills. It's so, so very important. Improve on your tech skills. Okay, so I think that is that. Now, the last one on the list. The last one. So I just hope that you you are jotting. I hope that you are with your paper. Just listen to this. Okay. The last one that you need to now uh, pay attention to, so so very important, is this: increase your container. See all these I'm, I'm talking about. All of them since morning or since the day this is when we start this webinar is like dependent on your container. Now during the empowered to win webinar. One of the things in the second day, one of the things I mentioned, I mentioned several laws that you must abide by to win the 2023. And one of them is the law of container. And law of container is saying that you cannot take more than the capacity, what more than the cap, what you have. So you cannot take more than what you have capacity to take in. So the law of container is just saying that a bucket of 10 liters cannot take a water, cannot take more than 10 liters of water, no matter how much the bucket to take water, no matter how much water is available. So you too, and another way to, to paraphrase that is that, another way to actually explain the law of what you have right now, your level teacher right now is not all that is there to have. It's not all that is possible for you to have. If you can have more than whatever you currently have right now, but the reason why you have what you have right now is the size of your container, the value that you have. I remember last year, I made a post and I said, there was a time I was posted the teacher series and I said something that, dear teacher, don't just want more. What's more? That's W-O-R-T-H. Okay, so don't just want more things. Don't just want an increment in your salary. Don't just want to make more money. As a teacher, don't just want that, but then want it, deserve it, qualify for it. The same thing, I've just explained things that are possible to happen with international schools, with schools needing more teachers and all that. Okay, for you to be able to get to all this level where you can be considered all these big, big schools that are going to pay you the amount you deserve. Okay, you need to increase your container. That means you need to learn more skills. You need to become more valuable. So what your level as a teacher currently is dependent on what you have as a teacher, on your level of skills, your level of knowledge, okay? So when you increase the, your, your knowledge, you increase your skills, okay? Other things around you are also going to increase. Your value is going to increase. Okay, I remember when I started training uh flip classroom and all those things the first slide i had i remember the first slide i even had ever online was 1000 error okay but why i completely charge 5000 confidently and comfortably charge 5000 error for my training not because that okay I, I, i'm just putting the price but because i myself have become valuable i've become more valuable there's some things i don't know that i know now 
That's a way teach you then. I cannot teach you now again. Why? Because I've grown. I've become more valuable. I've invested in myself. And you see all those salmon of increasing your container comes down to just one word. Invest. Invest in yourself. Okay, invest in yourself. There's a saying that says, if you want to get what you have never got before, you have to do something you have never done before. If you want to do something you have never done before, you have to have something that you have never become, you have to be, uh, you have to have something that you don't have before. Or in another way, if you want to do something you have never done before, you must become someone you have never been before. And what that simply means is that you must have skills you must develop, you must increase your capacity. If you are here right now, I'm very sure, yes, I make it to be so well that, okay, yeah, you might still get access to it in the Telegram group. But if you are on the Telegram channel, scroll up. You are going to see the Empower to Win webinar, day one and day two. Watch it. Watch it. You'll be glad you did so. You'll be glad that you do so. And if you have watched it before, take action. Or even go ahead and go and watch it again. I myself that do the webinar for two days, I have to go back and we watch the webinar. I, I don't know. Let me see if I can see that book here. So I myself have to go and watch the webinar. I don't just watch the webinar. I actually take notes. I take notes. I take a whole lot of notes from the one my own I did. Okay? I don't know if you can see this. You, you, I'm not sure you can see it. But I myself have to take notes. I take notes for day one. I take notes for day two. I write notes. Okay, it starts from this. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. The empower to win webinar. I started from year, from year to year to year. I have to take notes. This day two starts from year. Okay, I have to take notes myself. And just take notes. I have to make sure that I myself is implementing what I teach, what I'm teaching. Okay, even this particular video, I'm still going to watch it myself because most of the things I'm talking about is not really because I'm do, uh, so I'm, I'm doing it very well myself. It's also as a, it's also serves as a reminder for me. So in terms of the we invest in yourself. Don't just look for freebies. Don't just look for free things. Okay, there are tons of free content online, but most of the time the transformation you're looking for is in the paid things. Is in the paid things. There's some things. We will never teach you for free. There are some, it's just an unwitting agreement. There's just an unwitting law. That there are some things that we will never teach you for free. That's just it. We will never teach you for free because we ourselves don't get it for free. That's not that we're not going to put out content. But if you really want to win, you must be willing to invest in yourself. You must be willing to pay for knowledge. And this is really one of the reasons why teachers find it difficult to charge for their knowledge. Because most of the time, you, you, don't, you are not used to paying for knowledge. No, most of the time, when you pay for knowledge, you are giving yourself psychological permission to be able to charge for that knowledge. So if I've paid thousands in 2023, I can, 2022, I can completely say that I spent hundreds of thousands on my personal development. Okay? Even if you remove, yes, if you remove, uh, what is it called, the amount of money I spent on buying courses, buying books and all that, the money I spent on traveling itself, to, to events, to events. Ah, man, I know it's also going to be knocking hundreds of thousands. Because I traveled a lot in 2022. I attended physical events. I remember, the, like, I, I've been to many cities that the, the, the first thing that, I even remember the first thing that take me to Lagos in my life. But I don't go up in Lagos at all. Even though I go to Lagos now, like my second home. The first thing that take me to Lagos is, is a training. So invest in yourself. It's going to cost you money. Like one of my boss, Stephen Fee, always says something. He said, say, growth, growth, G-R-O-W-T-H, will cost you. But not growing will cost you more. That's the same thing for you, teacher. Investing in yourself will cost you. But not investing in yourself will cost you more. Okay, we cost you more. Actually, I've said this before, and I'm going to just to reiterate it, is that Think beyond your classroom. Think beyond your classroom. I explained this when I was talking about identity of a successful teacher. Think beyond your classroom. It's so, so very important. Don't limit your impact. Don't limit your knowledge. Don't limit your experience to only your classroom. Think beyond it. 
Start see, teaching as a business, like an entrepreneur. Your, your, your knowledge and experience in teaching is a solution to problems that are beyond your classroom. So why are you restricting your own solution to your classroom alone? So think beyond your classroom. So I hope this has been valuable so far. I hope this meets your expectation. I hope uh, what you learned here tonight is going to transform your teaching career. It's going to give you an head start into winning and succeeding as a teacher in 2023. So let me have your feedback. How is the training for you? How is the webinar for you? Uh, what do you learn? How is it? Does it meet your expectation? I want to know. Okay. I want to know. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. How, how is this for you? How is this for you? And if you have any question, please drop it. I have just 13 minutes because I, we started 10 minutes late. Because we want to run this off. Is that 13 minutes? Yeah, let me just, I'm adding, uh, what's it called? I'm adding like extra 10 minutes because I actually plan to use, uh, what's it called? One hour for this, first five minutes for the teaching and then uh, 15 minutes for questions. But then we started late. Even after we have started, I still have to wait for others to join. So I have just 13 minutes left. And then, so that means by this one hour, two minutes connected, and by one ten minutes, we're going to so can ask your question. And let me have your feedback. How is the training for you? How is the webinar for you? Do you gain value? It's also when I give us a feedback, we need to know. And what do you think we should improve on? Again, this is just the first edition of this webinar. We're going to be having this special goods of God every saturday every saturday by 8 30 p.m uh, in 2022 we have something like this it's always on our telegram group but we always did it 8 30 p.m uh by 8 30 p.m by what is it called on sunday we realize that because sunday is a day before monday and people are going to class going to school on monday so you have to shoot to saturday so you have sunday to rest or to prepare for church anyway or your salad anyway you have sunday to rest so you have to Bring it to Saturday. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Blazis. Thank you, thank you. Wow, Mrs. Odunlade, uh, thank you. So I, I said I like it. It's not my passion of teaching. I'm a teacher. Thank you. You are one in a million coach. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I want to know, do you have questions? Do you have the opportunity to ask me any question now, even beyond what I've explained earlier? Could you have the opportunity now? Ask me, is there anything that you... What clarification on? Don't worry, Mrs. Uh, Alagbala, you're going to get uh, the replay. So let me just go through uh, this again. So I mentioned the identity of a successful teacher. Document your journey. Don't be the world best, the world kept secrets. Okay, improve your tech skills. Identify your uniqueness. Develop it and market it. Okay, be audacious. Be empathetic and build relationship. Increase your container and then lastly, think beyond your classroom. So let me see. Do we have any questions here? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions before I call it a day? I'm going to stop recording this now. So if you watch the replay of this, please kindly they will be posted on our YouTube channel. So you go and watch it there. So if you're watching the replay uh, of this, please comment what you learn in the comment section in the comment section of the YouTube video and don't please oh uh, what's it called? Like our video and Please, if you're here too, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, we, we promise more valuable content, okay? And not just only that, the audio version of this is also going to be posted on our podcast. So, watch out for that. So, so if you are the type that, that prefer listening to just watching the video, if you like to just be listening to this while you're going uh, with your other activities, you can get the link to the podcast. It's also going to be sent to the Telegram channel, okay? And then watch out again. Again, but next week, wow, I almost forgot this. But next week, Saturday, we have another edition. The flyer is going to be there. Okay, I see a question now by Mr. Tyro. The flyer is going to be there. Okay, there's something I must remember. So, good evening, Mr. Abdel Latif. I would like to ask, you said as teacher, we should develop our unique skills. I want to ask, how can we identify our unique skills? So, your unique skill is simply that thing that is like... Unique to you. That's just the word. You, you know, when you check yourself, you no, know, it's just you. It, it, it starts with being self-aware. Okay, it starts, between, it starts with being self-aware, which you studying yourself. 
yes, there's this word, my coach. Ah, man, those times. There's this word that two people always say it. Coach Imani Akwe always say it. Say it. Uh, coach uh, Noi Mutmo always say it too. He will say something like, there is something that you do with ease. Ease. E A S E. That come to others with please. There are some things that you have, as you're watching this right now, that you can do effortlessly. effortlessly. But others, we have to stay there. We have to try it 100 times before it works for them. What are those things? There are some things, like me now, one of my gifts, and let me tell you, because you might need my service. One of my gifts is that I, I just know the right thing to say at some point. So there, are some, there have been uh, some situations whereby someone will come to me, we get on the call, and the person will explain to me, oh, this, this is this, this is that. And guess what? It's not even things I know. It's not as if ah, this person is very good. Things that I've not experienced myself before. But the way I'm going to talk to you is empowerment. I'm going to give you hope. I'm going to give you direction. I'm going to show you the things that something I've been battling with. And this is not just something I do for outsiders, even for my own mom. When my mom wants to do anything, she wants to take any step. I'm the first person she's going to call. She will tell me about it and I will tell her, this is what she do, this is what she do. I always make the joke that uh, it, it is, it is uh, olden day that you say that uh, what, uh, a, what uh, a, a old man can see or what a old man can see while sitting down, uh, a young person cannot see it even if the person climb on a tree. So I always tell her that, even see this deal, there are some people that, young person that even when they sit down, they can see something that an old man will not see, even if they climb a tree. So it is just it. So when I see, so, and, and that's, so when I talk with people, I know that that's something unique to me. So it also make me guard it because I don't just say anything to people because I know that anything I say can actually go on to affect this person's life. And so because of that, I develop that skill. And how do I develop that skill? I also, I need to, I will talk about this too. I develop that skills by being very intentional about what I, what I listen to, about what I hear. Because I know that what I hear is what I feed my mind, that my mind would feed me. So if you come with me to me for a particular matter, or we are talking about something, it's only what I have in my brain that will determine what I'm going to tell you. And if, if what I have is negative about that matter, it's going to affect it. So again, what can you do with, what do you do with ease that others do with please? What is that thing that you can do that if you're sitting like me, one of my fortress again, unless you need my, in case you need myself, is mathematics. Like just today, I have close to four hours plus tutorial for mathematics students in my school, for my under level students in, in my school. I teach them four hours straight. On a, on a topic that even I did not do it during, during my own time. Okay? So that is just me. When I see any, anything like mathematics equation, it's something I can see. And, that's, and this is very common for mathematics teachers. You can teach mathematics on, on water. Okay? That can be your own uniqueness. Now, learn how to package it. Learn how to market it. That might be what you need to do. Okay? So look for what's that thing that comes to you with ease. That but other people have to struggle to get it. What is that thing that is special about you? Those are the things, those are your uniqueness. So it's you being self-aware. It's you studying yourself. When you do something, study yourself. This I just finished doing. Is this how, it, as it is easy for me to do right now, is, it how, is that how it is easy for others to do? Check it. So be self-aware. Okay, it starts with you being self-aware. Start with you, even taking pen and paper and write everything you are good at and check it. What, what, what is special about these things? All right, so I hope I answer your question. Let me see. Do you have any other question here? Okay, you are so great. May Allah, see, Almighty Allah continue to guide you, protect you, and your family. I really enjoyed the message and the presentation. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you do so. Thank you so much. And please, now the last thing that I want, I almost forgot this. Okay, so one of my goals. One of my commitments in 2023 is that I'm going to have a webinar every Saturday. And we have started this Saturday. Another one which I've posted about, I've mentioned about, is the Empowered Educator Voice Letters.
So the empowered educator voice letters is going to be going out every Monday morning. And the aim of the letter is to empower you. Not just to empower you, but to also inspire you to have an, to give you an head start for the new week. So you're going to be resuming this Monday now. You're going to be going to school this Monday. So the empowered voice letter also will be going out this Monday morning to give you an head start. To give you the positive energy to motivate you encourage you inspire you okay to take charge of your week that's the simple aim of the voice letters okay so please if you're on telegram i'm going to do it tonight so and how do you do the the that's also very free you just need to click on the to add you to the list of getting the voice letter when you drop the link the telegram channel what you just need to do is click on the Telegram channel, so we click on the link, that's to my inbox to request that you need to you want to be part of those that will be receiving the voice letters, and then that's all you need. Then just sit down and wait to get the first edition of the voice letter. Sorry, on Monday morning. Trust me, it is going to be amazing for you. You know, by now I should have convinced you enough now by now that I don't just put out anything. That you know it's going to be excellent, it's going to be light transforming because most of the things that I do is not something I do from my head, just some it's like divine, they are like divine instruction, things that you're just sent, you're just, you just being told, being instructed that this is what you should do for teachers this time around, this is what you should do for teachers this time around. And to to to, to what we're going to talk about next week Saturday is not it has not dropped in my head yet. I don't know it yet, but Guess what? Maybe before I sleep this night, or maybe by tomorrow, or maybe I'm, I'm not very sure. Before Monday, you are going to know, and then you are going to see the flyer. So you need to register for that too. Don't miss it, okay? Don't miss it. Don't. Miss it. It's going to get better. Yes, it's not going to get worse. It's going to always get better. So this is where we're going to call it a day for this, okay? If you're watching the replay to YouTube, I'm also going to drop the link to join the Telegram channel. So you can join our channel and you can also subscribe to the empowered educator voice letter if there's no longer a question i'm going to call this a night here let me stop the recording now again the recording is going to be posted on our youtube channel you on our podcast ensure that you get it ensure that you listen to it just listen to it take action on it again okay the announcement is uh about my the empowered educator voice letters okay empowered educators voice letter that'll be going out every monday morning to give you an end start to inspire you and empower you to take charge of your week as a teacher <clears throat> okay it's even something that you can listen to every morning before you go to school because trust me it's going to be empowering for you it's going to be empowering i'm not going to teach most of the time in the voice letter i'm just going to encourage you I'm going to motivate you. That's, I will motivate you actually. I'm going to inspire you, okay, to take charge of your week, to have the best week you can have, to do your best, to give your best, and to stay there, to even live your best and go for the best. So I hope this has been valuable so far. I hope this has been valuable so far. Thank you so much. Let me stop the recording now. Thank you so much for joining in. I really appreciate your presence.